Alright, hey there Proxies, this is Prox right here, and guys, welcome back to another episode of the Pokemon Soul Silver Randomizer Nuzlocke. If you guys did miss out in the last one, we have all already finished off with everything that we need to do uh, with Blackthorn City. We already got ourselves the Rising Badge, and uh, also went on over to the World Islands, but we totally forgot about one thing, and that is actually uh, taking care of the Komodo Girls here at Ekertik City first, and then we can make our way back to the World Islands. So, I do have Big Papa back on my team once again, just so that I can just kind of boost him up for a little bit while we actually do have um, um, uh, just doing all the uh, Komodo girls for right now until uh, uh, until we actually have to go and uh, re-switch out with Kappa just so that we can be able to enter into uh, the World Islands once again. Um, but anyways, hope you guys have yourself a good Sunday and uh, we should be able to do a little bit of a team recap before we get started here very quickly. So we actually do have Kenya at level 42 with Nasty Plus Sway. Uh, yeah, Swigger, Pursuit, and Fly. Also, have Rapture at level 31 with Surf, Ice Vein, Crunch, and Waterfall. Big Pop at level 14 with Focus Energy, Fake Out, Iron Thrust, and Vile Throw. Blaze at level 29 with Smoke Screen, Defense Girl, Quick Attack, and Flame Wheel. Green at level 32 with Curse Cut, Bite, and Earthquake. And uh, that is. Uh, oh, and also, too, we can't forget about Sean uh, at level 31 with Strength, Iron Tail, Thunder Punch, and Thunder Wave. So, that is basically everybody on the team. And uh, let's see what's going on over here. So hey, it's our rival Latin. So how's it going, dude? So how? How is this possible? How can I lose to a mere kimono girl? Well, they are a little bit powerful. So you were watching me, Prox. Uh, yeah, that's right. Never thought defeating five kimono girls would be so hard. I got beat into a pulp. So you must have come here for the same reason, right? So don't get cocky just because you defeated Team Rocket. These kimono girls are insanely strong. So go ahead and see if you can defeat them. But I'm not going back. I don't want to see you win. Well, I think we got this. I think we can win, though. We do have Kenya out here in the front of our team. So I think we should be good for this. I remember when I first faced these Komodo girls the first time when I played uh, Gold and Silver. These girls were pretty freaking uh, powerful. Like, uh, I think one of the girls ha had the uh, Espeon and Umbreon in here, uh, and uh, th those two Pokemon literally destroyed me. All the other, uh, like, uh, Gen 1 EV Evolution Pokemon here uh, weren't all that too bad, but it was just Espeon and Umbreon gave me a problem. But the good thing is that, is that this whole game is completely randomized, so they don't have the EV Evolution Pokemon right here. So we got ourselves a Smoochum, and I think what I want to do is actually set up with a Pursuit. That should just easily knock out this Smoochum without any problems at all, so see you later, man. Get the heck on out of here. I don't even want to even know what type of moves that that Smoochum even has, because like even though that the Smoochum seems adorable, it could probably destroy us very quickly. Because you never know, it could probably have like at least Psychic or something by that point. So you are quite strong and you helped me out in the Elix Forest. My name is uh, Nako and I'm one of the, uh, the ones that is not so good at Direction. So my eyes to witness you defeating Team Rocket when Kurt was in trouble at the Slowpoke Well. So allow me to challenge you and your Pokemon. So it seems like unfortunately I can't really put uh, Makuhita in the front of my team. So I guess we kind of just have to stay out with Kenya it looks like. Oh, okay, maybe not. I think I'll switch out over to uh, to my main guy, Sean, out here. I don't know what type of moves that the Swallow is going to have, though. Okay, so it's going to be set up for a double team, which that's going to be somewhat freaking annoying. I have to say, Swallow is is, is one of my uh, favorite Pokemon out here, and uh, like, like out of Gen 3. Uh, You don't really get to see uh, a Swallow that much. Okay, so super effective. Almost about to be knocking it out here. Oh, Endeavor. That's a little bit scary. Okay. And there we go. And that takes care of that Swallow. No problem. So good job, Sean. Out here knocking out Pokemon. Oh man, come on, we need to get that Typhlosion evolution, man. We're so close. But, uh, I am really excited about it, since we are going to be uh, finishing off with uh, Metroid Fusion Blind out here. Uh, since you guys are going to be seeing that on Sunday, because of course, uh, since today is, uh, uh, well, since it is, uh, since you guys are going to be seeing uh, the video that's going to be happening out on Sunday. But I was wrong uh, that, um, that for the release date of Bowser Fury is actually going to be on February 12th and not on the 7th. But I'm really excited about doing that game uh, once after uh, after that after that's all finished. Oh my god! So acid armor—that's a little bit terrifying. 
But yeah, I think right now in Metroid Fusion, uh, we should almost about to be uh, finishing that game because we are going to be taking care of... Uh... Oh, okay, here we go, Super Sonic. Because we are going to be taking care of, of the SAX that, that is going to be uh, there in that battle. Come on, can you fly up in the air? Oh yeah, there we go. Now we just need to actually land this move if we can. Ah. Uh, hurt himself in confusion. Not the greatest. Okay, we should actually have a full heal out here. There we go. Come on, man. It's just a man if he... But, uh, Bowser Fury should be really fun because there's like... Like, literally, like, a hundred or some odd, uh, different, uh, different of those cat symbols that are gonna be there. Oh my god, man. My speed is falling. Okay, right, come on, let... Wow, I can't believe that doesn't even do that much damage. Um... That is a little bit terrifying. I need to probably set up for a fly or something. So let's see, how much is Bubble Beam going to do? Bubble Beam did do a lot, right? Oh, that acid armor. Get out of here, man. Alright, well hopefully we can set up with this fly and hopefully this man, if he can get out of here. So I guess Lion was a joke, and uh, these Komodo girls are pretty uh, are pretty hard. Okay, well you know what, we got Rapture, and plus Bull will be shouldn't even do that much. Okay, or you could just go set up for a supersonic on us. That's okay too. Jeez. So, Manaphy actually has two acid armors already set. And now we got Bulby that's not even gonna touch us at all. There we go. Not even effective. Uh, let's set up for a crunch. That should probably help us out. Nice! Okay, missed. Come on, let's lower that defense. Wow. Jeez, can I at least try to, like, freaking freeze this guy or, or something at least? Come on. Oh my god, man. Jeez. I, like, I can't even, like, literally even do even the slightest of damage because of that acid armor. My god. Like... This Manaphy is literally going to become, like, just like the Arceus that we literally fought, like, a few episodes back. <laughs> I guess we'll just keep on, uh, keep on crunching our way through until I start lowering its freaking defense. And also, this thing also has freaking, uh, freaking charm as well, which that's also even much more of a freaking problem than it has to be. Oh my god, no. Okay, Surf should at least do at least quite a bit of damage. Hopefully. Oh, just like very little. Oh, come on, and that Super Sonic again? Okay, right, come on, Rapture, you have to, you have to freaking break on out of this. Please do this for me. Yes. Okay, thank you. And this freaking Manaphy is gone. Oh my God, no more acid armor. Oh man. Well at least Blaze got up to level 30. Now we got ourselves out out that Typhlosion right now. Sweet. Okay, or never mind. I guess we have to wait a little bit more. So excellent fighting spirit, you got me off by an ice bite pushing me from the back. So I'm one who uh, who uh, skates in sandals. So I'm Seo, I'm the Komodo girl. So I was listening in the Dragon's Den when you passed the test of the Elder and allowed me to challenge you in your Pokemon. So I believe is she, like, the last of our, uh, Komodo girls to actually go and fight with? 
I wonder. Wow, okay. So I have all the other annoying Pokemon that we literally faced. All we have right now is just uh, a Starly to go out and uh, to actually battle, which that is fine, which I'm pretty happy about. Well, at least that agility is not going to really do you any good. Holy Brave Bird. Jeez. That Starly needs to calm itself down. At least we got that guy out of there. There we go. So Sail is gone. So Oh, so close. I almost had you. You didn't have me at all. Oh, okay, never mind. So I'm the last one. So you were dependable at the Golden Rock Tunnel. I'm the one who twirls even in underground. So I'm Cooney. So look, you do wonder when you throw a twins, uh, Team Rocket's mission to take over the radio tower. So you must show your strength to me now. Allow me to challenge you and your Pokemon. Okay, so you must be the last of them. Because I didn't know if we were almost about to be nearly finished or not. Oh, wow, we got ourselves a Growlithe out here. Um... I could, uh, probably... Let's just fly up in the air. We should probably just get out this Growlithe out here pretty quickly. Wow, flamethrower. That's a little bit scary. Yeah, because normally I think Growlithe uh, does learn a flamethrower at, uh, at some point. Uh, but hopefully that doesn't kill us, though. Whoa. Oh, and we also got burn in the process. Oh, that's annoying. Well, I'm going to fly up in the air because we can land it. There we go. Take down. Nice try. Uh, oh. My god, that was so close with that burn. Okay. Wow, I can't believe we're just living on seven. <laughs> there we go. That is how you risk it. <laughs> When it, when it comes down to the wire like that. So we're not wrong about you, so we're indeed worthy of this, so please take it. So we got ourselves the Tidal Bell. So I guess that's going to help us out with the World Islands. But whoa, what's going on here? It's a big sis. I just saw the big shadow of a Pokemon in the World Islands water. It could be. Uh, Prox, we'll be at the World Islands. We'll see you there. Alright, here we go. I'm pretty excited about this. So let's just heal up very quickly, because I know that uh, Kenya is burned right now at the moment. And it's a good thing, too, that since we are here in Ecritique, I would like to buy out on a little bit more potions while we're at it. Before we start doing anything else. Oh, my God. No more Komodo girls, thank God. Those trainers were a little bit too tricky. Like, that Manaphy was, like, at least somewhat of an issue because it kept on acid armoring. And then, uh, there was also that Smoochum, which I was pretty much certain that I think that Smoochum at least had, like, a Psychic or something coming at us. If we weren't, uh, if, if we didn't have Kenya out there at the very beginning. So I'll switch out with Big Papa around out here. Put him out in front. Okay, so we need, uh... Need that Mart. Where is it? Ah, oh, here it is. Awesome. I need some hyper potions from you guys. Thank you. Wow, we actually have 35,000 Poke Dollars. That's insane. From all those Komodo girls in that Claire battle that we also did, yeah, that kind of brought us up, up to our money uh, quite a bit. Okay, so we need to head on over to All of Mine City. And since we do actually have uh, quite a bit of max repels, we should be fine. Okay, so... Uh, I think for the time being, I think I may probably want to switch out Makuhita around and we'll put out with, uh, with Kenya so that we don't have to worry about getting bombarded with different Pokemon out here. Because I will be putting on a max repel but even with the Max Repel, even uh, if you do have like a lowest level Pokemon, a Pokemon will be showing up at like level 40 or something to attack you. Okay, so yeah, we got a few more left. We should be good. 
I just like how like here in uh, Harko and Soul Silver, like they actually have like the battle frontier in this game. I just hope that they can put it into uh, into the Gen 4 remakes. Oh right, yeah, that reminds us, we have to grab out a cap before this. Um, let me switch out. Totally forgot about that. I, like I think like a, like a, literally like a few seconds ago, I just kind of like reminded myself that I needed to switch out over to Kappa at some point, and then I just totally blanked out on it. Yeah, so unfortunately, I couldn't even do any type of off record grinding with Makuhita, <laughs> or uh, well, even uh, even off recording as well too, because we couldn't even do anything with the uh, Kimono Girls. But hopefully at some point I can just try and grind up Makuhita into a Hariyama. Okay, so let's try this out here again and hopefully this time we don't forget about anything. So I just did uh, my very first uh, midterm uh, throughout this semester right now for my makeover classes. And uh, I didn't really do all that too good. Uh, but hopefully I can pull myself out of, uh, out of this one and uh, hopefully for the next midterm that happens Hopefully I can do a little bit better than from before But I know that I've been doing really well uh, with all my homework and everything that has been going on with that class So so I, so it's not like I, I don't really know what what the subjects are, but like I Don't know. I think it must have been because of the multiple choice questions. I guess that that may have, uh, that may have probably uh, brought down my mark a little bit but the short answers for my accounting midterm were were uh, were pretty simple because like it's straightforward math I don't know all right so now we don't really need flash here because uh, since we actually do have this weird glitch going on we don't even have to worry about all of this too much and okay, I see that we actually do have an item here got a yellow flu interesting um, so I wonder if there's anything else that we can do around here. We can head down this way. Got a little bit of some steps and whatnot. I guess we'll head over here. It looks like there's some uh, stairs going down. Whoa, where are we going? So there's some ladders here, so I think this may probably be where we need to go. Whenever you see ladders, it kind of kind of guides us to where we need to be, but I don't think this is it. Got ourselves a item instead. Oh, wait, hold on. We got something down here. No, so that basically uh, blocks us, so there must be something else that I'm missing. It's been so long since I've been in the World Islands. Because, like, the only area that, that, that I only know off, off the top of my head is uh, is the Tin Tower. Because, like, I know a lot about uh, Pokemon Gold because that was, like, the, the first time that I ever got to play a uh, actual Gen 2 game. Because I didn't really get Pokemon Silver on the, on the Game Boy Color until, like, maybe a few months after. That's why I don't really know all that too much about World Islands. Okay, so I think I know where I need to go from here. It seems like there's like some steps or something going down. Maybe it's this way. Oh, hold on. I think I see an item. King's Rock. Okay, nice. Nice. Uh, we got some ladders here. Okay, I think... I see... What's this? Oh, I think this takes us right to where we need to be, I think. Because I'm pretty certain I think if we just go and access this spot here, I think there's like another cave that's somewhere located to this area. Oh, no, okay, never mind. Okay, guys, so I'm back. So I literally just figured out where we need to go here inside the World Islands because, oh boy, uh, did this take me quite a while. I was getting lost in, like, almost every single freaking spot because, like, I know it's been, like, such a long time since I've been in here, um, but I think I figured out where we need to go. It seems like uh, we're not in any type of more, type of flash type of spot area anymore. I don't think so. Uh, so I'm just going to be... Uh, picking up this item here and I think we should be making our way down to where Lugia is so 
Oh, there seems like one of the sages is already here. So yeah, I think we already made it into uh, into where Lugia's uh, Lugia's uh, place is gonna be. Which I can't wait until I see like the cutscene for this though. So yeah, so the only way that we can only uh, basically enter through in here is uh, by actually going and talking to the sage. So. And plus, I don't really have that much of uh, max propels anymore because I just used up like almost every single one of those. So that thing that you have, yep, that's the silver wing. You yeah, found it. Please go ahead. Thank you. So I wonder what type of interesting things that we could find down here. So like we got a little bit of this. Oh. Okay. I have to say that this literally has to be the thumbnail right here. Oh wait, hold on. Let me get a thumbnail here with, uh... uh can you... There we go. That is gonna be the thumbnail. That actually looks freaking sweet. I like how there's, like, a waterfall there, and, uh... Just having this random balcony that's up top. <laughs> that just makes everything look really neat. Okay. Oh, man, an Aerodactyl? That's interesting. I wish I found that Pokemon here in the World Islands. I don't know what other Pokemon that we found here in the World Islands from before. But I don't think it was a good encounter. Alright, almost here. So this is it. We're finally here. So that's right. This is where, uh, where we welcome Lugia. When the dance that we practice many days becomes one with the sound of the title bell that we entrusted you with. Then Lugia shall come out of the deep within. The waterfall basin once again. Alright, here we go. Now it's time to do the Komodo Girl dance time. Let me know uh, which what, uh, which cutscene do you like uh, like the best? Uh, I, I I guess that'll be what what the common question of the day should probably be is uh, what cutscene do you like the best uh, when uh, when you're playing the Gen 4 remakes? Do you like seeing uh, Lugia come out uh, out of the waterfall, or do you guys like seeing uh, Ho fly around the, uh, the the tin tower? Let me know. I think I kind of like uh, the one the one with Lugia busting out of the waterfall. I think that just looks really cool because Game Freak like like went all out with this game. And it's too bad that Game Freak doesn't put in the, the whole bunch of effort that they do uh, with the other Pokemon games. Because, like, cause like, I think around, like, Generation 6, they kind of, like, started like started to slowly not, like, uh, do that much with the Pokemon games all that too much. Like, that just looks so badass. Here we go. And Lugia is finally here. So how's it going, Lugia? I wonder what we're gonna be seeing here. So is this just gonna be a vanilla Pokemon, or is this gonna be static? So that's the D Lugia, uh, uh, um, uh, the the guardian of these islands from the ancient times. Uh, so many have tried again, and again, and only to fail. So proxy heart is in comp uh, is complete harmony with the tile belt, and has finally allowed to appear. So, uh, Prox, don't you see, Lugia, it must have been waiting for you, someone like you, all this time. So, wouldn't you agree? Okay, let's do it. So, let's walk on down here. Okay, so, what is our Pokemon going to be here? That sounds like a Cluffa. Or a Penny. Oh, what? It's a Clawfish. Oh, okay, never mind. Well, I don't really need a cool fish. We'll just run away from this. <laughs> no, our encounter. Our Lugia encounter was just a cool fish all this time. Alright. So I think once you turn uh, turn your back to it, Lugia will not come back for some time. So if you want to see Lugia, perhaps you can come back after all has been settled. Okay, well that's pretty nice. So, so if 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 you if you don't really grab out uh, Lugia or Ho, you can come back here and uh, do it again. Because if you actually killed it by mistake, that's pretty nice. So before I go ahead off this episode, I want to see what is uh, down this way. I don't think I ever. Okay, so it's literally nothing. Okay, well that's gonna be what it is. But it seems like there's like a whirlpool or something that's down there. Hmm. 
I guess it's just there just for the just for the effect because it is the world islands of course so that's about it here and of course we can't really grab out those two I other items because we actually go through a different side instead but uh let me just figure out where I need to get on out of here and then uh come on get me out of here I do not want to be in this spot any more than it has to be oh finally Alright, well, I'm going to end off this episode here for today, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Uh, basically, the next time that we are going to be coming back here to Pokemon Soul Silver is that we are going to be start heading on over to the Victory Road and uh, battling out a few trainers from there. So don't forget to leave a comment, like, also subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one, and peace.